But look, it's been flooded. Oh, 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 we got him. We hooked him, look, look. We are out at an abandoned sewer. This used to be a water processing plant and uh, it's since been shut down, but remains full of water from various floods over the years. And there's loads of fish in here. We're gonna catch some, we're gonna try. Ah, look at this. We'd be remiss if we didn't flip that over. Big piece of plywood. Let me just kinda get a feel for it. Yeah, it's gonna try to break right there. Okay, something would have been right there. So you see the, you see the way the ground is kinda shaped out right there? Some kind of mammal, a rat, maybe a vole. Let's go from the other side over here. Again, it might break right there. Yeah. But there we go. Well, nothing doing. A lot of turtles out there. But little spots like this I find to be the most interesting. I have a go right here, see if there's anything hiding in this little uh, flooded compartment. And yes, it's flooded. Like that's not flooded. That's supposed to look that way. This is flooded. You see there's a staircase that would have gone down to what is now under the water. So let's drop a, let's drop a bait down there, see if we can get anything out. There we go. Very light tackle, very, uh, very light tackle. A couple of red worms on a small hook, white line. Oh, I can see fish fry. There's fish fry in there. Okay, we're on something. Oh, 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 we got him. We hooked him, look, look. He took it so gentle, I thought it was one of these little fry. But no, we hooked that carp that I was looking at. Look at that. Look at that. Let's try to lift him. Very light line, but he's also not a big fish. There we go. Now, I wanna be so careful with this. I'll tell you why. Not, not because I'm worried about me. Uh, sometimes I'm like, oh, I gotta be so careful and I'm worried about myself. But actually this fish, there we go, get that out. It is so unbelievably hot outside, so hot. It is so unbelievably hot outside. If this fish even touches the ground, it could hurt this fish. But yeah, look at that. Ha, huh. fantastic. Came out of this little spot here. I'm gonna put him back here. And a lot of people might ask me like, oh, you should set him free in a bigger spot. And he got in there somehow salt in my eye from the sweat you know he got in there somehow He'll probably find his way out I imagine that thing goes down and has more space than it appears it's certainly deeper than it looks besides I've caught that fish before actually if you go back and look at some of the other videos I caught that grass carp out of there he's growing he's getting bigger it's really interesting check this out look at this I don't know what would have been in here Probably, if I had to guess, this is like a pump station. There's probably a bunch of valves down there. It's very, very, very humid in here. But look, it's been flooded. It's tempting, I wanna fish this spot, but look, there's really no point. We can actually see through the water with our flashlight. And uh, look at that, I can actually see the bottom all the way around this thing and uh there's no uh there's no fish in it which is weird not even minnows you'd think with uh with everything else being taken over by the fish you'd think they'd find a way in here but they haven't yet it's interesting maybe it's because there's not enough sunlight you know that's the thing every other spot we we have out here where there's fish there's at least some part of the water that has sunlight I bet you that's a big part of it. Food and all that. This little bird's nest in this electrical box. That's cool. No birds in it. Luckily, there's no wasps in here right now either. You can tell that uh, 
Yeah, I see. Ah, oh, oh, I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. Take it back. There's a wasp in here. Let's get out. Fuck. Oh, look right there. Look, 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 look. Do you see that? Ah, look at that. It's a whole school of them. There's a big tilapia right there. They look like little sea monsters. Those are uh, those are tilapia. Good sized ones too. I caught one in here a few weeks ago. Actually, I'm doing the old man thing. It was more like last year. Uh, I was like two inches under the world record. So there could be a world record in here. Anyway, I'm gonna try to catch one of those tilapia. Oh yeah, look at his back coming out of the water. That's just fantastic. There's like seven or eight of them right there. There might be some carp as well in the mix, but I'm pretty sure what I'm looking at at the moment are tilapia. We'll see. Look at that, they're coming after the float. Look at that, they're trying to bite the float. Oh, fish on, fish on, gotcha. They were, they were chasing the float down. They were chasing down the float and we hooked one and that might be the biggest tilapia I think I've ever seen. Lord, look at that. He was trying to eat the float like a lure. Remarkable. He's big, I actually don't know if I'll be able to lift him with this hook set, which is, oh my God. Look at the size of that tilapia, Lord. Yep, there he goes, now he's waking up. That probably means that's what the rest of these are, giant tilapia, this thing is massive. There we go, I'm just making sure that hook set is set into his lip nice and hard, because that's all I've got to lift him by. Here's the real challenge, my left leg is completely asleep. Like completely asleep. I can't walk on it. He's barely fighting at all. But he's a giant fish, man. Here's the deal. I'm going to keep him because I want to go alligator gar fishing tomorrow. The water is perfect for it right now. Uh, so we're going to keep him as bait. So I'm not worried about hurting the fish, getting him out of here. That's, that was what was worrying me before. Knowing that I'm going to keep this fish, I don't care. Because I'm going to dispatch him immediately anyway but the chance of lifting him by the lip when he's that big is pretty slim. He is huge. I have not seen a lot of tilapia that big before. There's more down there too. We'll try to get a second one. All right, so, man, I really want my leg to get its feeling back. These, somewhere in here is a world record. There's gonna be a world record that comes out of this, this plant. Uh, well, I think this is about as good a spot as I'm going to get. It's the same depth all the way around. And he is uh, right below us. So let's just do our best to land this fish. I think he's going to throw the hook on us, guys. I'm afraid he's going to throw the hook on us. So here's what I'm going to do, actually. I'm going to uh, undo the bail. Because the last thing I want is to drop that fish and then him pull the rod in behind me. What I also don't want is what I saw happen to a guy recently where he was handling a fish just like this and the lure popped up and hit him in the face. Very good chance of that happening right here, actually. So I'm gonna, I know the camera's on my head, so you're not gonna be able to see this very well, but I'm gonna look away as we lift. I cannot believe we just landed. That tilapia is absolutely massive. Look at the size of that tilapia. Huge fish, man, he's big. This is a big one. The size of his dorsal flared out like that. Look at that. I'll try to do that with my thumb while I hold him. I can't. I thought I dispatched him. He's still got some kick. That's the configuration I'm using now. Just an inch below. He skipped the float across the surface. They came after it. All right, let's go again. Skipping across the surface. Skipping across the surface, come after it. They probably look at that and they think, look, a bug, a beetle maybe. Or a cicada has fallen in the water. They're coming after it, that one snapped at it. Oh, I missed him. He took the worm, he took the worm. God, this is fun. Once you crack the code, I've noticed a lot of fishing comes down to just that. It's all about cracking the code of the individual fish in front of you. And once you do that, 
once you crack that code and you figure out what's making them bite, it just becomes a different ball game. I am starting to feel the effect. Oh, I got taken right on the drop. We got one right on the drop. He slammed it. I'm starting to feel the effects of the heat though. Oh, he's off. Man, they are absolutely everywhere in here. All right, so if you don't know this, if you, uh, a few weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago at most, I think, from when I'm filming this, so 10 days-ish, I uh, had heat stroke. Like heat exhaustion bordering on heat stroke. Like the more serious part of it, I had that. Which means a couple of things. Number one, it's just incredibly hot and humid and muggy outside and my job is to be in it and active in it for hours on end, so that's hard enough. But then when you have uh, severe heat exhaustion, heat stroke, um, you are more susceptible to have it again, I believe. Um, so I need to, I'm starting to feel it. I need to take a second. We're in the shade, I have plenty of water. If you're wondering like, oh, I drink water, bro, I have plenty of water. And I will uh, get some Gatorade. I should have had something with electrolytes in it. Keep myself balanced. But anyway, you got to be real careful. So I sent my wife uh, the coordinates of where I am. Not just the coordinates, but the actual address, screenshots, and all that. I'll be, like, I'll be here if, uh, if you don't get in touch with me. Like, you know, this is where you send help. I know it's like, oh, you're being dramatic, bro. I'm really not, and I'm fine right now. I'm just being cautious because this is not a spot. If I fall in here, like if I were to pass out and fall, that, that's, you're gonna drown in there. There's no way to get out unless you can like athletically climb out on the end over there. I thought about it, like what would I do? Honestly, I'm athletic enough to climb out um, if I get down to the end there, but if I couldn't, if I was too weak to do it from passing out, I've decided I would try to use my belt and uh, tie my wrist to uh, one of those posts, or tie my arm to one of those posts, so I couldn't, you know, at least if I went unconscious, I wouldn't sink. I'd keep my head above the water. The weird things you think about. Anyway, I wanna get that lure back out there. I wanna try to catch another one of these tilapia. It's quite interesting. Look at them, they're, they're snapping at it as it goes by. Some of them are getting, look at that, got one, got one. This one's moving a little bit quicker. It's another tilapia, look at that. That's crazy. That's really interesting. That's a, it's a new technique for me, using a float as a lure. I wonder if they would take an artificial if I threw it out there. Let's try to get this one in. Two tilapia for bait would be great. There we go. There we go. Two tilapia for bait. Makes the hardest part of my day for uh, gar fishing taken care of. These tilapia in here are massive. I bet you there's a state record in here. All right, there's one coming after it. I saw one rush it. Come on, guys. Dinner bell, dinner bell, dinner bell. Come on. You can tell, sometimes you, when they move like that, when it goes past, they're scared, they're moving away. Oh, that one's rushing it, that one's rushing it. Some of them are clearly trying to get away, some of them are clearly coming after it. That one, man, that was a, that, that rush right there. Yeah, fish on. Oh, it's a little one, what is that? Oh no, it's not a little one, it's a big one. It's a big one of a different species, massive bluegill. Look at that. Beautiful bluegill, get him back. I don't need, uh, I don't need any of those right now. In fact, I don't need any more bait at all. We got our bait. Yes. Oh, look at that. Look at that, whole thing just exploded. We got a fish on now, boy. Got a fish on now. It's interesting how they, these fish seem to give up quite quickly. This one is hooked clean through the lip. 
Uh, I forgot to crush the barb on this hook though. So now we either land this fish or we'll break the line. We'll see what happens. I think we can land it. He's not, he's not 12 pounds. So there we go. Should be able to lift it. We're gonna, oh, he's, that one's pretty. That one's really pretty. Look at the colors on him. Look at that. Look at that. I'm gonna throw him back. I really want to, I want these fish to grow. I want to see how big they get one day. And uh, we don't have a need for it. Hold still, pal. We don't need any more bait. Stop. Calm down. You're, you're all right, you're all right. I'm letting you go. We don't need any more bait. Ah, ouch. use my foot to hold him down. I would do this on the concrete. It would be easier to hold him down, but uh, this is so hot. It is so hot. I just want to get this fish water. All right, normally I would do this whole bit down on location, but it's just, uh, it's so hot. I just want the air on for a minute. Air, water, shade, you know, the, the perfect trio. Anyway, amazing fish, uh, really, really neat. When, once you kind of figure out what the fish are doing, they're not taking static baits, they are chasing stuff across the top of the water. Probably could have caught them on some other um, surface lures. I might come back here and try frogs for tilapia, things like that. Uh, it'll be a lot of fun. Different types of, uh, different types of surface lures, weedless surface lures. But anyway, it is too hot to keep going. I have the bait that I need for my next uh, expedition, next filming trip. And I want to go home because I am so hot. <laughs> it is, uh, it's unbearable outside. I think it's 101 today. It's 101. The humidity is comparable. And we're fishing down in a, basically a concrete pit of stagnant water. So it's just the worst. It's so hot. If you're out there fishing uh, or hiking or hunting or just observing bird watching, you know, just herping, whatever you're doing, make sure you are staying cool and staying hydrated because it is no joke out there how hot it is it's unbelievable anyway let me know in the comments what you guys want to see more of if you like this kind of fishing weird abandoned places stuff like that let me know i've got a couple of different spots i want to go to if you want to see more uh big game fishing you know the really big 100 pound plus fish uh let me know just you know drop down below in the comments what you want to see more of i'll try to make it happen check out the prime rod uh, from Denali, the Denali Prime Series. Really good as we caught the tilapia on at the end. Handled massive fish. It's a very light rod, handled a very big fish. You can use my code WL2022, all caps, WL2022, to get 20% off. Whew. All right, I've lost 20% of my body weight just due to talking to the camera, so I'm gonna get out of here.